Unfortunately, Tex did not make it through. Uh, so sorry to Tex. We were all on the bills, uh, and they all failed us, unfortunately. So we're back to the well, as us gamblers always are. Uh, and we got some plays for you. Tyler Dawson, Matthew Cruz, and I'm Dylan Corbett. Um, and Ty's going to serve as our guest better. Remember, he was back on day one. We are now up to $8 on our <coughs> listener subscriber rolling jackpot. How about that? Can we go two days? Austin Platt, shout out to him. He had the one positive day. Uh, I had a positive day yesterday, mostly because of the Braves. That starts my card. I'm on the Braves again just because there's so much value. That lineup can mash. Uh, they have not lost a game yet, so let's keep on cashing. I've got Atlanta plus 166. There is a college football game tonight. It's not very good. Uh, it is a ranked game, right? UL Lafayette uh, against uh, Coastal Carolina, a surprise 3-0 team. That line's at 7.5, but I'm staying away from that. I think we all are as well. Uh, but there is a hefty, hefty MLS slate. So we are excited about that. Um, and we'll start with you, Matt, who you got there on the pitch. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start going back to the well, as we love to do. Philadelphia had them last week, minus three quarters. Uh, they won 3 nil convincingly. They are playing the worst team in the East tonight, D.C. United, at a very short price. I have them at minus a half for minus 115. All right. All right. My first play tonight is actually going to be the first place in the Eastern Conference, Toronto. Um, they're playing the middle of the pack, New York Red Bulls. Um, if I remember correctly, the first time that I was on Corbett's, I gave out New York Red Bulls to beat Inter FC. New York Red Bulls didn't get the job done. Gonzalo Higuain hit an absolute cracker off the pipe into the goal. And a first goal for him at Inter, that Inter ended up winning 2-1. Um, however, I think Toronto uh, wins tonight, especially with travel in MLS. It's same-day travel. It's real tough on teams to go. Um, on the road now with the whole COVID stuff. So I think that uh, Toronto at home with a minus 110 is, is an absolute steal right now. So that's your first official guess better play. You've got two more to get to. So you're going with a three bet card, hoping to go three, you know, obviously two and one will get you to tomorrow as well. Uh, so I've got four plays. I'll kind of just rip them through here and then you guys can finish your cards back to the well, Orlando city last time. Uh, first time I told you, as a plus money line, the cash plus 140, and then it was, uh, I believe, plus 160, and they ended up drawing. Uh, so I'll go with a pick em here for Orlando City. Uh, New England, I'm going to take them minus 109, a good price there on the money line against Montreal. They are on the road. Uh, in fact, I am on three road teams so far. Philadelphia, I'm telling you, Matt, on that. We took them at minus a half there for a good price. And then a play that uh, I think all of us might be on here. Uh, Portland, I took them at a pick because you're getting them even money, plus 100. They're at Real Salt Lake. So I got four plays there, Orlando City pick them, New England money line, Philly minus a half, and Port Portland pick them there uh, on top of the Braves, plus 166 bet. Two more for me in addition to tailing most of what you guys are on. Uh, Columbus Crew money line minus 110, another short price against FC Cincinnati, who is not any good. And then uh, sticking with the home roots here with Minnesota United at Lions Field back home. We lost that game last week with a draw on the road, but they're much better at home. They play uh, Chicago FC. I have the minus 0.25, minus quarter at minus 120. So um, half pick them, half minus half. We're boots on the ground for that. We should look at tickets, right? Uh, no, uh, we'll be on the golf course. <laughs> uh, so I am actually also on Portland, but I'm not on the pick I'm on Portland plus 180. Portland, wow. the Timbers have won five straight. We also saw Lake has lost four straight. Um, so I think Portland hopefully can get the job done. And I really like the plus 180 and just simply because they're on the road uh, is why it's at plus 180. So I'm hoping to – Get a little bit more bang for my buck and uh, my last play is actually over the overseas I wasn't able to go to the game because I don't have an up-to-date passport but it is going to be in the UEFA Nations League it's going to be England minus uh, 140 they play against uh, Denmark today so I think they get the job done against the Danish they're coming off a real uh, nice win on Sunday against the Belgian Waffles uh, they won 2-1 uh, they got a late uh, second half goal uh, Denmark's a lot weaker side than Belgium, and I think England gets it done today at home. All right, a quick recap for the people. 
Uh, no, I'm still not even done yet. I'm telling <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm also going overseas. London's my favorite city on earth, so I yes. am playing England. I actually got that at minus 125. Oh, wow. Um, it's climbed down substantially. But then for my best play of the day, Belgium, minus one and a half against Iceland. Iceland is horrible. Belgium is very talented. The waffles. They just lost. Uh, England, or, yeah, as Ty said. Belgium, minus one and a half, best play of the day. And a quick recap of our guest better card. Uh, I have uh, Toronto uh, at minus 110. I have uh, the Portland Timbers at plus 180. And then I have England at minus 140. New week. Let's see how the guest better can do. Ty is back. We are in Minneapolis. Uh, so we're pumped about that. Thanks for subscribing, rating, and reviewing to Corbett's Corbett's Corner. Also dropping today. Check that on YouTube and wherever you enjoy your podcasts.